What's up, you guys? I'm here at Team Symmetry, here to do my update part two. You know, I was debating whether I really needed to do it or not. Um, so I'm going to make it real quick, actually. This will be a really short video, or a short for what I do usually. Usually when I do a video, it's at least 10 minutes long. I'm really tried not to make it this long. Um, basically, this is just to continue off of what part one ended at, which was amazing. It ended so perfectly, saying that I was running Malefic, and then it cut off. So I was like, okay, you know, where do I pick up from part two? I just go and just tell you guys that basically I'm running Malefic right now as a troll deck. Like, literally, it's just a troll deck. It has absolutely no, you know, like, it's not supposed to have, like, a big meaning to me. But for some reason, the deck is working. And it's kind of scary because it's like, if plants are, like, number one, this deck totally just wrecks plants in, like, every way possible. So it's kind of giving me a little, kind of a vibe that maybe I should run it. I don't know, like... You know, I stay so loyal to Gravekeeper and to uh, TG that, you know, I'm just, I'm conflicted of what to do. And I mean, I'm going to come to you guys for some, uh, I guess, give me some feedback what you guys think. <clears throat> All you guys need to know about the deck is that it's nothing special. I based it off of Shriek OCG, uh, the ShriekToday.net and the deck that Louis Zambrara ran and top aided with at Indianapolis. Uh, aside from that, it's really nothing special, you guys. It's just an amazing deck, though. I was playtesting today, and I zing Zen Hu during end phase and was able to lock down a Solemn Warning and a Deep Prison, which was, like, fucking amazing, because it was like, I summon a Malefic next turn, attack for 4,000, you can't do anything. It's like, your, your back rows are locked. And I was like, wow, it's like, you're already at half-life, and then you scoop next turn. I was like, wow. <coughs> oh, excuse me, but, um... Basically, it was telling me that the deck has potential. I just really need to play test with it and perfect it like I do with all my other decks. But I do want some feedback. So if you guys could tell me what you guys think about Malefic. Should I run it? Should I profile it for you guys? Even though it's been profiled before, I think the way I profile Dexter is a little different. And it might help people out there who eventually want to make Malefic. So that's basically what part two was about, was talking about that. You know, I ended my video on a totally like crazy note. You guys... Um, you know, already know um, what I'm going to LA for. I already uh, explained it enough, and I don't think I need to say any more about it. Um, the only thing I can say now is uh, it's only five days, so it makes me really happy. But, um, you know, you guys will get your wish um, about me doing a, a video with my girl Carly. Um, she's down for it. And, like, I think the only thing I want to say is, like I told you guys, you guys want to know why I'm happy, you'll see. So stay tuned for that when I get to L.A. And um, I'm looking forward to that trip. But, uh, you know, I really don't have much more to say on this video. I think that um, Malefic is awesome. Like, it's a really fun deck. Safe zone is broken. It's so good. As long, it, once they waste their MSTs and they're heavy, you're good. And, I mean, the, most decks only run two MSTs. And, I mean, I run triple dark bribes. So I'm really not afraid of things. I'm debating whether you try Magic Drain or not. Because either way, your opponent loses something. So, to me, it's pretty broken. But uh, for now, you know, it's just a fun deck to troll with. And, I mean, it really is working, which is, like, crazy. It's like, you know, I just... I was bored one day, and, like, I looked at Malefic Cyber, and I was like, this card is so cool. Like, l let me see what the deck's all about. You know, I studied it for a while, and I was like, oh, wow, this deck works. So we'll see what happens, you guys. I'm not making any promises, like, especially for the next regionals. Um, I'm not really sure if Malefic is the deck for me, but, I mean, if it is, it is. It is kind of nice not having to shell out for a Synchro deck or have to even bring one. So, aside from three Cyber and three Stardust or whatever I decide to run. So, just really cool. I mean, if you guys want to link me some really good Malefic decks, please do, because I really don't know enough about them. I'm just going off of what I've seen online, and, of course, you know that's not enough. So, I definitely want some feedback, but um, that's what's going on for me deck-wise right now. Um, you know, with everything coming up and, you know, my trip coming up, um, you know, cards are definitely not, like, my number one priority, but they're definitely up there, so I will try to do my best in LA to record some good material, um, hopefully get some player interviews, get some deck profiles, whatever I can while I'm out there, you know, record at Frank and Sons or something, depending on what, how, uh, the whole weekend plays out, but I mean, I'm really looking forward to it, I mean, obviously, you guys know why, but aside from that, you know, there is the game aspect, and... I definitely want to do that for you guys. Um, also on this video, I'd like to take the time to shout out my boy, like Bernie, again. Um, I happen to watch, like right now, don't ask me why, but I watched your shout out video that you did um, when you did like an update or something. And you said something about, I didn't realize that I had signed the one for one for you. And, um, you know, you thanked me so much on the video. And, you know, no problem, bro. You know, I was glad to do it. I had no idea it was going to you, though. I think that's just what was amazing. And, of course, I don't know how clear it came out. I apologize because, you know, like, the pen or whatever they gave me totally just, like, sucked balls. So it was like, whatever. But um, I will be in SoCal, bro. And I know it's just, like, totally weird. But, I mean, if you're at Frank and Sons or you're in the area, you know, hit me up. Um, PM me or something. You know, we can uh, definitely do a collabo. Because, I mean, I... Uh, 
you know, I, I guess like it sounds weird, but I mean, I'm proud of you and I'm proud of, you know, the progress you've made on your channel and the fact that you, um, you know, you take care of my channel just by, you know, shouting me out and, you know, updating me on things. And, you know, I mean, I really appreciate that. I like having fans like you. And I think that it would be really cool if while I'm in SoCal, we get the chance to collab. I mean, we don't have to, but if we could, it would be awesome. So that's just a personal shout out to like Bernie and to any other Yugi tuber out in LA. I will be there. We can definitely make it happen. So just let me know and comment below. PM me if you're going to be in L.A. and we'll definitely make it happen. Also, if you guys have Facebook, my Facebook link is below. Um, if it doesn't work, let me know and I'll send you the correct link. But I definitely want to start my networking all around California and just really get noticed. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I tried to make this video not long. Of course, I'm going to talk for six minutes and not even think about it. But um, I just hope that this update answers the rest of your questions. It was really nothing special. I said the main things I needed to say, but this is just a shout out to everyone in LA. I'll be there. Um, I'll be there Friday night and I hope to really meet up with people uh, on Saturday or whatever and uh, definitely do some collabos and some work and definitely record some good footage for you guys. So that's all I got to say. I hope everyone has a good day. Comment below. Please let me know what you guys think. Please like this video. Thank you guys so much for your continued support and thank you for watching.